Let me ask you a question. Would you be you if you were upside down? Well, chords can be turned upside down, and they're still the same chord. For example, that's the C chord. But if I invert it, turn it upside down, it's still the C chord, it's just upside down. You see, what I've done is taken the C off the bottom and put it up on the top. Now I can, that's called first inversion of the C chord. Now I can invert it to second inversion by just turning it upside down again. I took C and E off the bottom and put it on the top. And then if I invert it again, I get the original chord, the root position chord. So that's called root position because the root's on the bottom. That's called first inversion. In other words, the first upside downness of that chord. That's called second inversion, the second upside downness of that chord. And that's called root position. And I can do that till the cows come home up and down the keyboard like that, obviously. And that can be done not only to, to three note chords. It, in three note chords, there's only two inversions, a root and two inversions. But if you have a four note chord, then there's a root position, a first inversion, a second inversion, and a third inversion. The same would be true if you had four note chords. Okay, I won't do that, but I mean five note chords. Uh, you, you could turn them upside down uh, five times counting the root. Okay? It just depends how many notes there are in a chord. Okay, but they're all inversions. They're turned upside down. And of course, you can do that in the right hand. You can do it in the left hand as well. You can do it hands together. Very simple concept, but one you need to know. So that's all for today. Thanks. Bye.